Hi, Sagittarius. Welcome to Rays of Hope, Rainbow Light, Love, and Healing Tarot. How are you? Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are following me, and those of you who have just arrived, join my channel. Anyway, here we go with our love reading, twin flame reading, romance, wherever you are. And know that this is a collective reading for our Sagittarians. So whatever resonates, wonderful. Whatever doesn't, just leave it behind. And so we'll see what happens here with love this week for our Sagittarians. Here we go. What is the energy guiding this reading for our Sagittarians? Integrity. Integrity is all about our truth and how we feel and knowing that, um, you know, we're guided by higher standards, okay? So let's see where this, uh, where this meets us in this reading, okay? For our Sagittarians, integrity. This came up again for our um, Leos as well. So let's see here. What are the crowning energies for this reading for our Sagittarians? I love doing readings. It's so much fun. I mean, I have a full-time job too, but uh, this is my special weekend job. <laughs> it's my love. It's a hobby. Anyway, I hope it helps you. I know that I have so many self-help links uh, below in my channel uh, because I'm a healer as well. So just look at them and um, self-help. Okay, so... Are you frozen, Sagittarius? Are you frozen? Is it hard to resist change? You know, uh, perhaps that's what this integrity is about for you in this reading. You know, uh, you have to make a choice. And sometimes it's hard to let go. And if you're resisting change, question, what is it that you're resisting? Okay, so let's see, what is the heart of this? the dark night of the soul so there's definitely some kind of disconnection here that you are going through with this partner or this relationship or this situation there definitely seems to be some type of uh, darkness well, I don't want to say darkness to just say things are coming up for you um, and it's hard to let go of something and you're resisting the change there's a disconnection and oh boy, there's an internal conflict for sure. Definitely uh, something going on here. You're in the dark, but you can embrace the light, right? Look at it. Look at what is coming up for you. That's an opportunity to change, to heal, all right? That's what's coming up for you right now, Sagittarius. It's time to uh, look at all the parts of you. Take a look, integrity, be honest. You know, be honest with yourself and make sure that you're not covering up because when you're frozen, you're resisting to change. It's hard to let go of something that you might be trying to hold on to. You don't want to change. All right, so let's see what the tower will bring. Let's see what other information we can give our Sagittarians. Another ending. This is the death card. So there's a transition going on. There's definitely been an evidently an ending here. Wow. And here's the devil. There's, there's two cards in a row. Wow, this is very, very strong. Um, there might have been an obsession here. And you can't let go. Aw. All right. That happens. That happens. But it's a lesson. And then here's the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, well, you're holding on. You're really holding on. Wow. It's time to kind of take a look deeper, you know, into yourself, you know, into this internal conflict. You know, let your heart open to you. All right, let's just keep shuffling here because this is definitely one of the biggest changes I've seen so far in the cards. Um, I just did like so many readings and this one has never come up for, for anyone except you. It's very special. Very special, Sagittarius. Very special. Okay. Let's see. What else could be coming up for you? You want the Ace of Cups, my darling. You want the Ace of Cups. You want a new love, a beginning. You're overwhelmed with emotion right now and you really love this person. Hmm. 
here's the Four of Cups, okay? Um, this is definitely discontent, you know? Wow, in your heart, I feel it. And then here, illusions. The moon is here in this connection. So there's definitely a lot of uncertainty, complicated relationship. What you thought was real is not, it was an illusion. You know, you jumped over the moon for this person and now it's, it's ended in some way, but it's something to learn from, you know. Sometimes we have to look clearly, more clarity. So let's see here, what else can we give our Sagittarians? The Eight of Pentacles. What I feel here is that from this ending, it's time for you to put the work in that needs to come to a place of integrity, of truth, of honesty with yourself, okay? It's worth the effort. Okay, let's see in the heart. Ah, oh, the Eight of Swords. You are definitely feeling helpless and trapped, frozen it's within your own prison, Sagittarius. It's time to really, really, you know, give yourself the Ace of Cups. Give yourself that love, all right, during this transition that you're going through. Put in the work. Really love yourself. That's where love comes from. And then when you love yourself enough, that echoes into the uh, into the stratosphere. Actually, it goes around everywhere. People will be attracted to you because it's a positive love. Okay, let's see what this possible probability is. There'll be a renewal. Okay, there definitely. This is the judgment card. So there's definitely going to be some renewal of love, of past actions and consequences that you may have gone through or will go through. But there's definitely a call for healing here, uh, Sagittarius. Definitely a lot of healing is needed here to go forward into any renewal of love. And the first has to come for yourself. But let's see what the scarlet energy is going to give us on a deeper level of what could be something that we need to look at. What energies could be here over this reading here? Take, it's a risk. Love is a risk, always, okay? Take the risk or lose the chance to recover, all right? So it's time to really heal. It's not ready to accept what you have to offer, okay? Whoever you're with is not ready for what you have to offer. And waiting. Waiting is something that is not easy, but... Be hopeful, all right? Be hopeful. Let's clarify this with the lover's path and see what else we can tell you. Um, in this reading, Sagittarius, what energy is the lover's path going to give us to clarify each row? It's the lover's path tarot. We have strength, okay? So they're saying here in the first row, which is energy coming in for you, have the strength, be brave, have the courage, okay? You have it. Just open yourself up to who you are with that cup of love. And then we have awakening. The sun is in your heart, Sagittarius. Awakening. Awaken your heart to you, okay? And then we have the Prince of Arrows, and you will find your Prince. The Prince of Arrows is someone who is a Cupid. In this lover's path, this week, um, Prince of <laughs> Prince of Arrows is Cupid. That is the possible probability of your process once you definitely make the change of coming into yourself. Okay, so let's see here. Um, what can we give our Sagittarians? last message for this reading of courage of strength to recuperate to realign themselves awaken their heart to love loving all the parts of themselves removing the blocks that are keeping you and waiting for that cupid to strike you okay the renewal of love for our sagittarians 
learn new things. It will help you in the future of love. So take care, Sagittarians. I feel my heart feels for you. Be well. See you soon and love yourself.